iPhone 6 Plus Battery Replacement Guide. Warning, lithium batteries are highly explosive, please replace at your own risk. The tools we're going to need are tweezers for screw management, a plastic prying tool for prying connections apart, a pentalope screwdriver, Apple's proprietary screwdriver, a Phillips head double or triple zero screwdriver, a plastic pick for prying the screen apart, as well as a suction cup. Begin by securing the suction cup as close as you can to the home button. Now while holding the outer edge of the phone, go ahead and pull up with your index finger. That should create a seam where you can insert a pick near the auxiliary port. Go ahead and tilt the pick left to right between the cracks on all sides. Don't go too fast and take your time when unclamming the phone. You don't want to crack the screen. Remove the five Phillips head screws that are securing the cover that guards the connections from the screen. Go ahead and start in the top right and going around the contour of the shield. Remove the remaining screws. Move the shield out of the way. Now go ahead with a plastic prying tool. Dig underneath each connection and just slightly push it up. That should release it. These are ribbon cables. Be very careful. Don't use a metallic tool when making these disconnections. With four connections and pride, the screen is now free. With the screen removed, go ahead and remove the two Phillips head screws that are securing the battery connection shield. With the screws out of the way, go ahead and lift up the shield. With a plastic prying tool, just get underneath the battery connection and pull it up. Alright, now let's flip the phone uh, in this orientation and pull on this tab here. If you slowly pull out on the tab, it pulls out quite long. If you go too fast, you might rip it, so be careful and just pull it out. It'll extend to about two feet. This process will be repeated on all three tabs. Go ahead and do it on the second one. Now here's an example. On this third one, we try to pull it out and it rips. If that is the case, go ahead and use a plastic prying tool like a utensil knife to pry underneath the battery from the bottom left corner and just slowly uh, inching in go ahead and um, pry under the battery it's quite sticky and it's um, very difficult to pull it out but make sure not to bend it it's quite dangerous with lots of patience and effort it should come right out go ahead and remove the residual sticky tape reassembly to avoid the previous situation use double sided M3 tape tear away two strips about the length of the battery Remove the guarding tape. Place the battery right on top. Tuck in the battery cable. And reconnect it to the phone. Take your time. Make sure to plug it in carefully. Put the shield over the connection and secure the two Phillips head screws. If you get them mixed up, the shorter one goes on the right and the longer one goes on the left. Let's reconnect the screen. 
go ahead and align the screen connections and peel them back starting with the bottom connection first go ahead and take your time when you're plugging these in you want to make sure it goes in completely and you feel something like a click make sure it's nice and tight now the third connection and the final digitizer connection once everything feels tight let's go ahead and reinsert the shield that guards the connections from popping out go ahead and place the shield over the connections and secure the top right Phillips head screw first it's the longer one out of all of them if you have them mixed up the one on the left and then going around the contour finish off the other three screws let's clamp up the phone starting at the top go ahead and insert the screen in first then lay it down and gently start squeezing on the left side now gently on the right side pushing it in going slow and finally clamping it on each corner go around the contour make sure that it's nice and solid and there are no cracks okay let's seal the phone with the pentalope screws go ahead and load them into their sockets and twist them in once the pentalope screws are in go ahead and power on the phone and test it out if this video has helped you please hit like and subscribe and check out more awesome videos at appledollars.com